Okay, this poem is entitled Garden of Human. Take me apart. Take bits of me with you. Take the bits you can stand to look at, the bits you can stand to hold, the bits that remind you of yourself. Keep them as spare parts. Leave me empty if you must. I don't mind not being whole. I was once called holy, and I laughed at the pun. They meant saint-like, and I thought of shovels. Digging deeper into my body, not realizing I'd scattered, offered myself to invasive species, like Russian olive trees and dandelions. But thank you for the compliment, for finding my holes holy, not empty. Not an absence of substance, but a presence of good things. A loss of bits of me, maybe, but space for others. Other bits of other people who are holy, holy, just like me. I am the landscape of the living, made up of many parts. Good parts and bad parts, good bits and bad bits, from good people and bad people, if that binary even exists. I'm stitched together with their influence. The bits of myself that I give away are an offering to the world. To the audience I stand before tonight, come to me with your wantings and failings. I'll open myself. Carve out bits like a pumpkin, hand you the dripping mess in the hopes that it is enough to fill the holes I see in you, because you are saint-like too. You have that circular stitching that keeps the new bits in place. I'm sure if we all stood up, bared our skin, we'd see the places where we gave of ourselves, took of another, in an effort to feel closer, better, not alone or empty. To everyone here, I say thank you for offering yourself to the world. To everyone here, I say please, please be gentle. Only take of those who offer themselves to you. I perhaps offer myself too willingly, but what remains of me physically is just a garden. The place where they are planted, those people who have bits of me. Likewise, I'm nestled in their land, a tulip among orchids and peonies. My roots dig deep in their soil like scar tissue on their skin. We are all a form of foliage, growing, digging, dying in the frost, reborn in the sunbeams, hoping to be picked, dreading being wilted and withered, in need of a gardener with a good green thumb. I hand out my bits like petals on the wind, moving quickly, no longer needed by the flower, but in another garden that has no tulips. Take of me whatever you will. I will never say no to sincere requests, to those prepared to share, to live with the holes, to give to those who need it most. So turn to the person next to you. Show them that secret part of you, that secret garden where everyone you've ever known is planted and grows in your warmth. Because maybe, just maybe, they're the flower you're missing.